Hey everyone, today's video is about when you have PDST, panic attacks whenever someone yells at you, or I think someone yells in general. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. I think that's me. I have a panic attack every time someone does that. But like, not really a panic attack. I just get, um, angsty. Angsty what? <sighs> I get an anxiety from that. Um, yeah. I think, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's go. Oh boy, he may not be the best person to be around if you're scared of yelling. He's always yelling. Then he certainly won't escape his wrath, either. But as soon as he notices your reaction to being yelled at, how you freeze up, how your breathing becomes racked, and you're beginning to tug in your hair, will go quiet. He won't understand, but he knows for damn sure that's not a normal response. No one likes to be yelled at, but he looks all timid and scared in the moment. He'll feel like a monster for yelling at you. He'll demand to know what your action was about. It really shocked him, and it may have even broke his heart a little bit too. He didn't realize that yelling at you could cause you so much pain. Whether or not you tell him your story, from that day onwards, it is not a subtly softer around you. His voice is always quieter whenever you're around. Even if he was previously yelling at someone and you happen to walk into the room, he'll either quiet his voice, growling out threats, instead of yelling them, or he will just walk away altogether, which is why the class loves having you around. If you're around, they don't get yelled at as much. If he ever catches himself about to start yelling at you, he will always stop and take a deep breath. He can't help his anger at you, because he knows no matter how angry he is at you, it's not worth giving you a panic attack. He doesn't want to be the reason you suffer. He will get into the habit of walking away from you whenever he's mad at you, or just mad or something in general. He would go to let off steam by yelling at someone else. Most of the time, it's his poor, unexpected friends. Or he will go and do some training, throwing punches until he feels better. He won't come back until he knows for sure. There is no chance he will blow up on you. Sometimes it may even take days to see him again. He's just doing that so he doesn't hurt you. He still remembers your face the first time. He yelled at you and he never will be able to get the image of your terrified face out of his head. He will question if he's a good match for you a lot because, well, he's a guy known for always yelling and yelling causes you panic attacks. He just wants you to be safe and happy and he's not sure that you can feel that with him. Though, those softer moments you have all together, when you're cuddling and laughing about all the stupid things in the world, Seeing you smile and laughing so brightly with him, it makes him realize that you two are good together. After all, who else could stop the most explosive boy in school from yelling? Right. Damn right. It's always lying. It's always lying. Can't I be lying? In? Uh. Uh. Please. Dude. Like, she's always, she has a lot of boyfriends. Very, very. Like, I wish. I wish I had all of those white friends. She has, I mean, like, a lot. I think more than two million person. Yes. She is. Oh, uh, selfish. Like, she has two million or, or a lot. Um, I think more than two million boyfriends. Like, dude, can you share? One million only. You know, just half of them. Just half. <laughs> well, yeah, um, I want to give you guys names, you know, like fans. I don't know. Yeah, fans. Like you know, when you call someone, like for for example, when you have a fandom, you just call them by their names, like Zach, um, Blackpink's fandom. You know, Blackpink, the group. They call their fandom um, Blinks. So I want to have something like that. I want to have a fandom, even though I won't ever. Like, yeah. 
Um, for the people who actually watch me, I want to give them a name. What do I call you? Like, can you just say some uh, things in the comments? Maybe I'll name them. Uh, I mean, I'll choose them. Oh, I want to post about this because I really, I've been thinking about this for a very, 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 very long time. But I still can't, can't decide the name because uh, I have a lot of exams coming up. And I mean a lot, a lot. All of my exams, all of my exams are coming up this week. And I didn't study. <laughs> I, um, I have an Arabic exam and I suck at Arabic grammar. Suck. Okay, here, I'm gonna make a post. Do, um, can you guys request? Request what? Request, um, suggest, but what? Um, give me some names. Can you guys give me some ideas? Maybe give me ideas for fandom names. Fandom names. I really don't know how to write that because, like, um, I'm 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 still learning English. I'm still learning English, and I think my my accent is very bad. And I really need to learn more. Like, really. Everything, yeah, nobody's enough, especially me. I'm not. Why am I saying that? You know, when you're just so focused and you have to say everything in your mind, that's just who I am. I want to go, to, go out with my friends, go out with my friends. But all, all I wanted to talk about was, was how you guys really made me, you know, very happy because all the things you did, you know, Yesterday, I talked about it, but like, this is not enough. You guys, like, you know, kind of made my dream come true because I've always thought about being kind of famous, like not famous, famous, just kind of. Having 3,000 subscribers isn't bad at all. Like, it's actually amazing. I've never really thought I would have like um, 100, 100 subscribers. I thought I would always be a loser, <laughs> you know, but I'm very happy. Um, I'm just very thankful for you all. I love you all so much. Thank you. Thank you guys for listening. Hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and suggest me some ideas to do in the comments. Goodbye.